Hey guys, welcome to Excel Rule Channel again. And in this video of statistical function and formulas in Excel, we have a formula for you to change a negative number to zero. So if you want to find out how to do it, please keep following this video. You will find out in coming minutes. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do it because we are going to cover each and every aspect of Microsoft Excel in this channel. So let's get started. So here we have a sales number which is of 2020 and 2021 and we are going to find the difference between the sales number in 2021 and 22 so such that we will analyze the data of all the months like we have a 12 months data here okay so we will analyze month by month data so let's get on to it and let's see what scenarios we face by doing the same so here we need to find the difference of sales in 2021 to 2020 and click enter so we have this number but if we apply to all we incurred a negative values also like minus 2 minus 7 minus 4 and minus 4 so you may don't want to use these negative values in your worksheet and you just want to change that to zero okay and yeah you can do it annually by clicking each and every cell but it's not convenient or i will say it's not efficient to do so because this is just a number of 12 or 13 cells right but you may have a number in thousands or i can say in millions also so to analyze such level of entries you can use a function called max function okay so what does max max function do max function returns the maximum value of two values okay so there are actually a number of methods to change this particular negative value to zero like if function also but in this playlist of statistical function we will use statistical function like max which we have done in this statistical overview video where we have used the max function in various scenarios so in this scenario we will use max function to return any negative value to zero so let's find out what does max function says so it returns the largest value in a set of values and ignores the logical values and text so whatever the logical values we specify in the formula itself it will ignore that value and specify the value which you have mentioned so no longer ado let's see what are the argument of this same function it has a number one and is a number second so the larger value to this and zero will be the zero right so obviously zero is the larger value to any negative value so here we will apply max function okay so for the number one part you can just simply add a zero here because we want to find the maximum value of these two which is zero okay if there's a number like one obviously it's gonna be a greater and we don't want to touch that number we just need to touch the or you can say change the negative number so just close like down parenthesis down like this and click enter so we get the zero and if we apply to all so we get the zero zero wherever we get the negative values so hope you understand how to change those negative value to zero using this simple formula using max function in excel so if you have got something please click the like button if you want to ask some questions related to it you can use the comment box and do share the video with your friend colleague or whoever you want so see you in the next video until then bye bye